Fire Emblem Heroes is a Fire Emblem mobile game that took the world by storm upon its release. The game uses a gotcha system where you pull specific units and use them in battle in different game modes. As the rule goes with Fire Emblem, once one of your summoned units dies, they are gone for good. However, you can have multiple units that are the same character and alt as backup in case your frontline unit falls in battle. Fire Emblem Heroes is home to many OCs. In this video, we're going to be talking about my personal favorite Fire Emblem Heroes OC, Air. If you enjoy analytical content on JRPGs among other game genres, be sure to subscribe to my channel since that's the main type of game I make content on. Also, before we dive into me talking about why Air is my favorite OC in Fire Emblem Heroes, I just wanted to give a shout out to a smaller YouTuber that I feel like needs my help. I know a YouTuber named ShadowclawXX. He is a YouTube friend of mine and a huge supporter and he also has his own channel. He mostly makes Smash related content, so if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to his channel as well so we can get him to 100 subs before the end of the year. With all that said, let's get into this video. Now at first glance, Air might seem like a spawn child of Persona 4's final boss, given that she is a female being that delivers death to the people of the living realm. However, in order to fully understand Air as a character before you make too many broad assumptions, here is a quote that Air says in Fire Emblem Heroes that could maybe help you understand her better. My blade, Leafia, offers death to those who seek it. To those who wish to live, it offers compassion instead. Air may be a being from the realm of the dead, and the princess of the realm of the dead at that, which I will go into all that later, but she is also capable of compassion towards people. Prior to the events of Heroes, she carried thousands of lives of mortal people within her, and she was considered a being of life. However, her mother was a being of death, which is kind of weird if a mom gives birth to a child and the mom is of death and the child is of life. That doesn't make too much sense, but it's Fire Emblem, so we're just going to assume there's something to go with it. Uh, which is when she took to killing her daughter, Air, thousands of times until eventually she lost her immortality. Air is a new character in Fire Emblem Heroes Book 3. And in Book 3, the land of Zenith has a seal keeping Air's mother, Hell's forces, out of Zenith. However, the seal eventually weakens. Once this happens, Hell orders Air to travel to the land of the living. Air is instructed to kill the mortals on the land of the living once she gains their trust. Air is reluctant to follow through with this order, however, she does it anyway out of unwarranted respect for her mother. However, upon arrival, she is defeated by the Order of Heroes and is taken prisoner once another character from Book 3, Alphonse, refuses her request to kill him. Once Air is released from prison, she expresses to Alphonse that she wishes to fight alongside the Orders of Heroes. However, her intentions are seen as sus, as she is literally the Princess of Death. What's even more sus is that Air refuses to give an answer when she is asked why she wishes to join their forces. However, they agree to let her join the forces, also agreeing that she is to be killed as soon as she shows any sign of betrayal. Uh, is this video technically an Among Us video now that I said the word sus twice so far? Probably. I don't know. From this point forward in Book 3, Air assists the Order of Heroes as a unit, serving as a guide once the group makes its way to Hell. Air tries to reason with her wicked mother the entire journey, however, Hell is insistent on Air obeying her, in which Air always gives an eye roll sort of response. She also meets the character known as Lif, who gives her a sense of deja vu as soon as she wonders if he was meant to keep an eye on her. Lyft disregards this and asks her to forget about it. In the alternate ending, Air once again confronts Lyft, saying she remembers something involving both of them and that he put flowers at a memorial. Lyft tells her to forget about before he forcefully 
removes her memories, which I guess he has the power to do, and Air takes note of his sad expression and feelings. Personality-wise, Air is a forlorn individual. She doesn't show very much emotion having been killed lots of times and is in a constant torpor. Because of this, she is often apathetic of the death of others. She even believes that people who are going through terrible disease or unending pain would consider death a kindness. Deep down, she resents her mother, as Air is much more compassionate to mortals and remembers her mother being much kinder than she is now. One of the things I like about Air, and I feel like it's something a lot of other people like about her as well, is the fact that she believes death as an option is situational in every sense of the word. She believes those who still have a reason to live deserve life and compassion, but those who are going through disease or torment would gladly die and take it as a form of kindness. I believe the same thing. I believe people should die only when they have accomplished enough in life to be satisfied. Air believes people with aspiration and hope deep down are those who deserve to live, and she only kills people out of kindness. That kind of aligned moderation is what I believe makes her a good character. A lot of people might just like her because she's a hot anime girl and everything, but I believe there's much more to a character than that. The moderation Air holds in her heart when it comes to the line separating life and death is astounding, and it's what makes her the best OC in Fire Emblem Heroes in my opinion. My favorite characters in fiction are those who moderate both light and dark, especially characters who seem like bad people when you first meet them. But once you get to know them, they make for some of the greatest companions. Air isn't a villain. Her mother is. It is important to know the difference between hero and villain when evaluating a character. Another thing to note about Air is that she never had friends while living in Hell. And she even went whole years without speaking. This is something about Air that is extremely relatable, at least for me. I didn't really have many friends growing up, and there still aren't many people in my hometown that I personally get along with. So in that regard, Air is a very relatable character, and I feel like everyone feels lonely like that at times, but she felt lonely her entire life. And because of this, I view her as relatable, and a lot of other people do as well. Air also seeks purpose in her life, and she wants to make someone other than herself smile. This is so that other people can experience the happiness she once had. I am the same way. I am not as upbeat as I was during 2019, but I wanted to start a YouTube channel not only for personal growth, but also just to make people happy who may not be having a good day when they watch my videos. I want to make people feel better if they've had a hard day. Air wants to do that too, just in a different way. Air's best friends in the order are Fjorm and Sharina. They consider Air a friend despite the fact that she was their former enemy. This proves that being someone's friend can wield more power than being someone's enemy. It's best to make as many friends as possible even if they don't seem like the most pleasant person at first. Love is stronger than hatred, and Air as a character, along with Book 3 as a whole, prove this perfectly. Anyway guys, I just wanted to make this video because Air is my favorite OC in Fire Emblem Heroes. Most people just talk about how she's sexy all the time and how that's the reason she's their favorite character, but me personally, I believe there's a lot more to her than that and I want to show people that characters' sex appeal isn't necessarily always their only good character trait. Most of the time, characters are much deeper than their appearance. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. I also have an Instagram account. A link to that, along with a link to Shadow Claw's channel, will be in the description. As always, stay chill, everyone.